Alrighty guys, um, a bit of a different video this time around. I got my McFarlane Doom Slayer Classic. Now, this isn't the only Doom Slayer Classic I have. I actually have the statue that's limited to like 2,000, I think, units. I have that still in its box. And now I have a bit of a moral dilemma here. I wanted to review the figure, but there's part of me that just goes, I should not open this. <laughs> So, I don't think I'm going to. I, I saw people are already trying to resell these online for like $150, which is ridiculous because this is not even a $30 figure. Oh my god, I, I'm sorry that this is a different video, but my god, man. I will give my thoughts though. I think that the sculpt looks amazing. It looks really, really good. The helmet's a bit too silvery for my liking. It's more of a gray color in-game. And the armor would do very well to a black wash. Um, but that's just my opinion. If I had another one, maybe I would take it out of the box and try to improve it. But not doing that. I would like to see some variations on this mold. I imagine since these sold out... I really hope that they bring these back, like eventually, like maybe in a year or so, we'll get these in GameStop and stuff like that, like they'll become more common. I really hope that that's the case. Um, and I would like to see different color variations, because if you have, like, Doom 1, Doom 2, and Doom 3, in Doom Eternal, you actually unlock different colors of this skin. Uh, you can get a red version of the armor, uh, like a brownish-orange color and a like a bluish gray variation i think that's for doom 1 doom 2 and doom 3 i think doom 3 is the one that gives you the red armor and all i have to do is just change the color of it so yeah <laughs> this is a Non review, I guess. <laughs> a non unboxing review of that, probably the first of it. Yeah, because I'm not opening it.